everybody, this is a, a part one of two, hopefully, video overviews of this light. And this light is the Overready Boss 35. This light is made of 7075 uh, T6, I think, aluminum, which is a, a higher grade of aluminum that is typically used in most gear. Um, it runs three XPL emitters, um, and they use uh, TIR optics. It has a variation of the Overready Triad tail cap. It has a, an Overready custom clip. It has two really fucking sweet. Sorry, I hope no kids watch. Uh, custom screws. They're just great. The body tube is not parallel. It has a distinctive taper which gives really good for like a cigar grip here. Um, and uh, it is insanely bright, but unlike most lights that are insanely bright, there you go. You can see it doesn't even blow out the camera. It has a 0.18 lumens moonlight low. So if you're stumbling around at night, you can hit that thing and it won't blind anybody. But if you need to, there's medium. So there's low, there's medium, let's see, there's high, there's super high. This thing pumps out 1900 lumens. I'm running an IMR in here so that I can squeeze out every last bit of performance. Um, the body is tumbled and so it has this very nice sort of worn finish to it. And every, every edge is rounded and smooth, every surface is just wonderful in the hand and super tactile. Um, a couple of nice little things that you would only notice if you are a true flashlight nerd. Uh, when your tail stands, you can see there's little indentations, and it's it's too light out, but you can see it there. That light leaks out at the bottom. So there we go. There you go. You can tell if your light's on. Um, and It tail stands rock solid. The clip is out of the way. The clicky is out of the way. Oh, by the way, it runs a McClicky uh, tail switch uh, with a really nice boot on it. Everything about this light is super, super awesome. Um, I'm really, really stoked to have the light. Uh, I was able to get in. I bought it like two minutes after Overready posted it um, in their email. Um, and I'm really pleased to have it. One of the things that I've noticed over the years in reviewing flashlights is that the body tube design really matters. And this is the best body tube design on a flashlight I've ever seen. The, the triad tail, tail, uh, tail cap is just amazing. And this tapering here gives you so much control over the light. Um, you can do so much with the light in this position that you couldn't do if you had to hold it like this. Um, and while it is bigger than, say, the Mushan Aeon, it is smaller by a considerable degree than the uh, Megizmo Clicky, or the Megizmo Haiku. Um, these run the exact same clickies, which is kind of crazy. Uh, this is this is one of the greatest lights ever made. So I think right there you got three of maybe seven of the greatest lights ever made. Uh, let's see if I can up that count a little bit. There's five of the seven greatest lights ever made. Uh, the one, two that I'm missing in my collection, which I probably will never get because they're just hard to find, is I want a Lunaso 20 with a 3-speed. And I would really like to find um, one of the original... Uh... You know what? Take that back. Hold on. Now all I'm missing is the Lunaso. There you go. I think that that is six of the seven best lights ever made. They are really fucking awesome lights. Every single one of those lights is a great light. So uh, this is a video overview uh, part one of the Boss 35. And you say, well, what did I not cover? I did not cover the fact that this light is fully programmable with output variability based on an iPhone app. 
Uh, the reason I haven't covered that is because I haven't even bothered to play with it yet. I've just been so thrilled to have the light, have the light to play with that I have not gone crazy and gone into the minutia. Uh, one other thing is these two. They make a really sweet pair. Um, this is my Jesse Gerard's M75 and the Overready Boss 35. Uh, so if you're looking for a good medium-sized kit, that's pretty good right there. Jesse makes some sweet, sweet knives. And I've already made some sweet, sweet flashlights. Uh, look for a video, or uh, look for a written review of this sometime soon. I'm sorry.